there's something I'd like to discuss with you. Why, Herr Einstein? Of course. Perhaps you'd like me to tell you what you have missed in lectures this week. Einstein wasn't exactly a model student. He excelled in certain subjects, especially physics and math, but he wasn't very diligent in a lot of his other classes. He was undoubtedly very questioning, which seems to have annoyed most of his professors throughout his life. He would pursue his fascinations with just incredible determination. We know from his letters that Einstein, even from the age of 16, was literally obsessed with the nature of light. Everyone he could speak to, his friends, his colleagues, even his then girlfriend, Maleva Merrick, who had become his wife, everyone he badgered with the question, what is light? What would I see if I rode on a beam of light? What? A beam of light? By what method do you propose to ride on this beam of light? As a method is not important. Let us just imagine me to a young, radical, bohemian experimenters, hand in hand, on a journey to the outer reaches of the universe, and we are riding on the front of a wave of light. <laughs> I really don't know what you are suggesting here, Einstein. Do you wish to hold my hand or ridicule me? Ridicule you? No, never. I merely want you to help me to understand. What would we see, do you think, um. if we were together and we sped up and up until we caught up to the front of a beam of light? الملاحقة المستمرة للضوء التي شغلت أينشتاين هي التي أحدثت ثورة في العالم بالضوء أعاد تركيب النظرة إلى الكون وعثر على العلاقة التي تربط بين الطاقة والكتلة الضوء يتحرك بسرعة تبلغ 670 مليون ميل في الساعة لهذا استخدم العلماء حرف السين للدلالة على السرعة قبل حلول القرن التاسع عشر بفترة غير قليلة استطاع العلماء رصد سرعة الضوء لكن أحدا لم يكن يفهم ماهيته في إنجلترا استطاع رجل أشرنا إليه سابقا تقديم تخمين مدروس بعد وفاة السير هامفري ديفي أصبح مايكل فاراداي البروفيسور فاراداي أحد أهم الذين أجروا التجارب في العالم كانت المؤسسة العلمية لا تزال ترفض فكرة أن الكهرباء والطاقة المغناطيسية إن هما إلا مفهومان لظاهرة واحدة سماها فاراداي الكهرومغناطيسية مع ذلك كان عليه أن يقدم عرضا أكثر إثارة لجمهوره Invisible lights that can emanate from electricity in a wire from a magnet or even from the sun for it is my contention that light itself is just one form of these vibrating lines of electromagnetism بدل فاراداي جهده طوال 15 سنة لإقناع المشككين بأن الضوء هو موجة كهرومغناطيسية لكنه كان يفتقر إلى الرياضيات المتقدمة لدعم رأيه أخيرا جاء من يؤازره البروفيسور جيمس كلارك ماكسويل آمن بصحة رؤية فاراداي البعيدة النظر 
وكان لديه الطريقة الرياضية لإثباتها وهكذا أصبح ماكسويل والعجوز فاراداي صديقين حميمين So your results show that that when electricity flows along a wire, what it actually does is create a little bit of magnetism. And as that magnetic charge moves, it creates a little piece of electricity. Electricity. Electricity and magnetism are interwoven, like a, a, a never-ending braid. So it is always pulsing forward. It's wonderful. Wonderful. Michael, Michael, there's something very crucial in the maths. This electricity producing magnetism and magnetism producing electricity, it can only ever happen at a very particular speed. The equations are very clear about it. They come up with just one number. 670 million miles per hour. I'm not sure. It's the speed of light. That is the speed of light. You were right all along. Light is an electromagnetic wave. أثبت ماكسويل أن فاراداي كان محقا الكهرباء والمغناطيس هما مظهران لوحدة أعمق لقوة تدعى اليوم الكهرومغناطيسية تنتقل بسرعة 670 مليون ميل في الساعة أما بشكلها المرئي فهي ليست أكثر من الضوء نفسه she saw and dance like our dark souls do. Mm. Maxwell's equations contained an incredible prediction. They said you could never catch up to a beam of light. Even if you were traveling at 670 million miles an hour, you would still see light squiggle away from you at 670 million miles an hour. Do you see how she stares at that way? Yes. You see how for her it is static? Yes. She and the wave are traveling at the same speed. We see the wave moving through the water. But relative to her, it just sits there. So is light like that? Common sense would say that if you caught up to a light beam, there would be a wave of light just sitting there. Maybe it would be shimmering, a bit of electricity and a bit of magnetism. So if she was traveling, Alongside the light wave, it wouldn't be moving. It would be static. But Maxwell says you can't have static light. Maybe Maxwell is wrong. Maybe if you catch up to light, it is static, Albert, like a wave next to a boat. Imagine if I was sitting still and holding a mirror to my face. And the light travels from my face to the mirror, and I see my face. Yes. However, if I and the mirror were traveling at the speed of light... You're going at the same speed as the light leaving your face. Exactly. The light never reaches the mirror. So would I be invisible? That doesn't make sense. Can Einstein a shab? قد بدأ يدرك أن الضوء لا يشبه أي نوع من أنواع الموجات
كان على وشك دخول عالم تتداخل فيه الطاقة والكتلة وسرعة الضوء بطريقة لم تخطر في 